I've got uh, a, an interesting one. Well, I think we've <sighs> talked about this before. I want to talk about True Blood. Guess what happened tonight? You got a date. Um, no. A vampire came into the bar. You know how many people are having sex with vampires these days? You would be surprised, people you know. Sometimes those people disappear. Apparently there's this vampire bar in Treefort. Fantasia. Fantasia? He set up a date with a vampire? What do you have, a death wish? You look like vampire bait. So are you saying you think I look nice? If you're about to shit on True Blood, <laughs> I'm going I'm to murder you. I'm not going to shit on True Blood. I think the true blood you, is... Okay, whoa, whoa. Hold on a sec. <laughs> Let me just say to the audience, okay. you know I love true blood. I, I know so you you're are fond a, of true blood. Yes, yeah. true blood is probably my favorite vampire thing in popular media ever. Thing? No, in, for, for for like me, for, movies and TV shows, okay. true, true blood's probably my favorite. I'm, I'm, I would, of, I'm, of all media? Of all media, like of all time. For, okay. Yeah, I, I, I'm on. No, oh, other than maybe like Lost Boys, uh, I would like. I think I like Lost Boys better than True Blood. Okay. But I love True Blood. It's it's fantastic. But <laughs> hold on a sec. Okay. So why don't I? For those that don't know what True Blood is, why don't I quickly give? I know what you're about to do, which is <laughs> is shit on me for the next twenty. No, to 30 I'm not. Minutes. I'm not going to shit on. So. You. Why don't I just say what the basic plot of True Blood is? Okay, I'll, I'll you, hand it you, over. Would no, you like to? Okay. I'll hand it over to you. You're the expert. You're the True Blood. I've read the books. You read the books. Yeah, I think it's Catherine you read Harris. The books. Yeah, I finished all the books too. Jesus Christ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I know. I've, I've, been, I've read the whole book series too. I've yeah. turned over a rock here, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, like. so True Blood um, follows uh, the titular character Suki Stackhouse, who is. <laughs> What, what? What are you laughing at? <laughs> Shut up. Uh, no, continue, please. And in the TV show, she is played to perfection by Anna Paquin. And it is a television show produced, I believe it's 2009, but let me just confirm this. It might be 2008. This show started. 2008. I was very close. So it is an HBO production. It lasted, I believe, seven seasons. And the basic premise of the show is that it takes place in the bayou it takes place in a small town in louisiana in the in the deep south and it is a very like it's almost like uh the perfect setting from like what you would call like a harlequin novel it's hot all the time it's steamy we've got all these pretty people and there's all kinds of sex romp happen happening all over the place okay that's the backdrop of, uh, of, of this story. And the titular character, Suki, is a small-town girl. She is a very pretty, blonde, uh, young uh, woman who works at, like, a roadhouse-type bar diner, like a bar-slash-diner. She's a waitress, and she has the gift of mind-reading. She can read people's thoughts. She can hear what other people are thinking. Is that tele telepathy? Telepathy. Okay. Telekinetic yeah, is that's what move that's shit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Telepathy is hear shit. And she's got uh she has a brother in town. She has some other family in town. She's got a good group of friends. She's grew up in this uh this this town the, uh, her whole life. I want to look yeah, bring up, up the cast. I want to yeah. look up the the town because I don't remember what it's called. Oh, I should know this, but I'm forgetting it for some reason, but it doesn't necessarily matter. But so one night, while working as a waitress, <laughs> she finds one of the patrons in the bar. She cannot read his thoughts. And it is revealed that he is a vampire, which means he's undead. So he's basically, his brain doesn't actually yeah. function the way ours do. And she then learns that her entire life, she's been basically like, it's, it's a curse, the way she looks at it. She can hear everyone's thoughts all the time, and she can't turn it off. So it almost drives her insane most of the time. Imagine yes. hearing what people are thinking about you all the time. And she's a woman, so 80% of what she, hear, she hears is guys being like, oh, I'd like to fuck her. Like yeah, She hears like, that nonstop, especially she works at a bar. 
Yeah. So she can't turn that off, right? But around the vampire, she can't hear his thoughts. The vampire's name is Bill. Vampire Bill, who's played perfectly by Stephen Moyer. <laughs> I'll let you dunk. Just let me <laughs> okay, have my okay, piece, continue, and then I'll let continue, you dunk. Continue. All right. I, I'm. I will. Be, I'm not going to even say anything while you dunk on it because I know what you're going to do. Stephen Moyer, our Bill Vampire Bill, um, is new to the area, and to be clear, in this universe, vampires. So. There are multiple supernatural entities in this world, okay? In this universe. So there's no- I haven't gotten to that yet. But yeah, he's even yeah, get, so get to get to season 3 cuz season yeah. 3 is where they introduced werewolves, but there's I'll, this is spoiling nothing, but in okay. this universe there's multiple different supernatural elements. There's vampires, there's werewolves, uh there's uh, like goblin slash demon esque characters. That's actually in the books, not in the show. Um, there's other kinds of weird, like n- nature demon monster things. There's shapeshifters. So the whole, the whole gamut, the whole of gamut of supernatural, supernatural yes. elements. Yeah, they're all in this universe. However, humans only know about vampires because vampires collectively have decided they've been around forever like coexisting with us, but they have decided to now no longer be secret. They've decided that it, for in order for their species to survive, they need to integrate with humanity. So they, I, I believe in this universe, it's like, th- this is still new. So they, they only started yeah. integrating like a couple decades ago. Like maybe it's been like 20, 30 years. Maybe not even that. It might even be like 10, 20 years. I don't think it's been very long. No, it's yeah. a brand new thing. And- they're the it's an allegory for racism is the idea yeah is they're supposed yeah. to be like another race and they set that up perfectly with louisiana like the like the race is south and the yeah. the vampires are basically like the the you know the african americans yes of 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 this culture that's the idea in this world and most people don't like the vampires. They see them as other. They mistreat them. They're very nasty to them. They say horrible things to them. They don't want to be associated with them. There's even groups that, like militias, that want to kill them. The government and the vampire government have, like, they've made agreements that, you know, they're going to work together, but it's still very on in the integration. That's very important. So there's a lot of kinks that haven't been worked out. And just as the humans, there's a lot of human groups that hate this idea. There's a lot of vampire groups that hate the idea. There's a lot of old vampires that think of humans as just nothing but food. Why would they want to live by man's law? They're not men. They're, they're, you know, they're, they're superior beings. And that is a very fascinating backdrop, um, that takes place in this world. Vampire Bill and Sookie are the main characters. It is mostly a love story. It's a very schmaltzy romance type story. It takes place surrounding mostly Sookie. So it's mostly the adventures of Sookie and her slow um, initiation into the world of the supernatural. We also learn that Sookie herself is a supernatural. That's why she can read people's minds. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. so she's not okay. she's not just an X-Man. I guess that makes thinking. sense. Yeah. yeah, she herself is actually, um, she's, a, she's half fae. A fae is like fairy, yeah, and like they that. have the they can re, uh, read minds. Okay, yeah. um, and spoilers. Yeah, wow, well, it doesn't. Really, <laughs> that's, literally, that's literally like season four. They said that. So that's the basic like overview of the show. There's a bunch of side characters. Each show, each season has a new conflict that arises. It's generally like there's a threat to the area. Like season one, there's like a serial killer running around. Season two. I don't remember the main antagonist of season. Two. Oh, season two. There's like um, a nature monster that's running around preying on the townspeople. So it's like every season, there's kind of like a new threat to the area to Sookie and her f- family and f- extended friends. Okay. And each one of the as we as you go through the story, each one of those characters they flesh out. They have their own. So Sookie's boss is a shapeshifter, Sam Merlot. What? Yeah, don't spoil these things for me. I haven't watched the whole series. He, that's like see that's like episode three or four they show that oh really okay. yeah it's early on okay. yeah no that's All super right. early on yeah okay um 
so he that's very early on they reveal that yeah it's not it's really not, no it's not twisted okay, at all okay. no 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 he's a shapeshifter okay and that's actually why so Suki actually is attracted to him um but because she, she can never quite a hundred percent read his mind because he's like a half breed okay so like any of the other supernatural beings they um the 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 phase have struggle or have trouble reading their minds yeah so they kind of like foreshadow that there's something up with him but you learn very on yeah he's he's a shapeshifter okay that's the basic overview of the, the show let me say this before you dunk on it <laughs> okay, you're going to yeah, okay let me just say it is phenomenally well produced hbo threw a ton of money at this show it is very well acted the cast is great if you want a show that is smutty and filthy and violent, this is the show. And this is why I love True Blood. And it's why it's one of my favorite vampire pieces of media ever is this is an X-rated Twilight. So it it has the beats of your smaltzy Anne Rice, you know, interview vampire crap. It has the grandiose romance shit from Twilight. It has all those beats, but it's HBO and it's fucking hardcore. And there's like hardcore nudity, hardcore fucking in this show, hardcore violence and gore. And they don't pull their punches and it's practical and it's violent. And I fucking love it. It's one of the only, (laughs) it's one of the best shows of like, do you want to see vampires like, um, killing and fucking this is the show and they're gonna and they don't hold back and they're gonna show it to you and the cast is all like gorgeous perfect people um fucking Skarsgård uh is Eric Northman um yeah I haven't seen him show up yet oh you're nowhere in the show then yeah that's like super early on uh I should know his name I feel bad um let me just bring it up real quick Alexander Skarsgård I I I, was, I wanted to, I couldn't remember which one of the Skarsgård's brothers. So Alexander Skarsgård is in it. Everyone in this show is like perfect and pretty looking and just gorgeous. And they all fuck. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> literally because it's HBO. I mean, even Anna Paquin, everything. Now, where I think, you know, if you, if you, if you get into True Blood, where I think you should stop watching, because I've rewatched the show, the entirety. I've rewatched okay. the I've okay. rewatched the entire series. Stop watching after season three. So I only own the first three seasons. How many seasons are seven. there? Seven. Oh, seven. I believe okay. it's seven. Let me confirm that right now. I believe it's so seven. So more than half the show, you're saying. Episodes. Let me see how many seasons this is. Seven seasons, too. Okay. Yeah, I was right. Seven seasons. So you're saying that more than half the show is it's not is worth bad. watching. It's not worth watching. Yeah, because okay. They, why is that? And that's actually why I started reading the books because I was like, man, the show turns to shit so quick. Um, because it becomes the first couple seasons are pretty self-contained and simple, and then the show gets convoluted as fuck, and they stop following the books, and then they just make they made shit up, and it was just all nonsensical and not fun and. It's just, it became, it's like, it, it actually is more akin to like a CW show where it's like it Arrow or Flash where every season just got more nonsensical and you're just like, okay, whatever. Like Supernatural became like that. It just at a certain point became a zombie show because yeah. the first couple of seasons were so good and they had such cool elements to them. They had such a great cast, such a great concept that people kept tuning in. I mean, fuck, I watched all those shows. Like Did when you, you watch this when it aired? Yeah, yeah. I watched it okay. when it, I started with season two. I started oh, okay. with season yeah. two, and and then like I didn't. I st- sorry. I started when season two was new. Was new. Was yeah. new. And you watched it. As and it I, then I watched it all yeah. aired, and I watched the finale when it came out, and uh, I I was also one of those people that was guilty of it, where it was like, oh, maybe they'll turn it around. Like maybe they'll turn. Like it kept every season was like you know it would be it would be after season three that you know the ratio would go off. It would you'd have like. 50% good, 50% bad. And then it was 60% bad, 40% good. And yeah, you know, yeah. and then by the end it was 80% bad, no, 90% bad, 10% <laughs> okay. 10% okay. Yeah. It, it got so convoluted, so stupid that it, they just didn't they lost complete direction. They clearly just didn't know where to go. So every season just became a nonsense twist for no reason. It was like they would just 
oh, now that this happens, okay, like all these like ridiculous twists and the introducing overpowered characters because they need a new big bad. Yeah. So it's like, why not? Gotcha. Like at one point, this is not in the books, they introduce Lilith, like the original vampire, shows up in like season six. Okay. And she's like the origin of vamp vampire. Of vampirism. Yeah. yeah. And then like her and Bill like merge into like a god being. What the fuck? Right. And I'm like, what <laughs> like what are we doing? And then later on they introduce um uh Hep V. They introduce a hepatitis that infects and kills all the vampires. Okay. And like even that, actually that plot line I didn't even think it was that stupid. I thought it was an okay plot That's line. That's interesting, I guess. But then what ends up happening is like there's two types of vampires. There's like um, a big portion of van- I, I I don't even want to get into it, but it's like, yeah. the show just gets dumber and dumber and dumber, and it starts with season four. Okay, season four is the I'll call it the season of the witch. It's when they introduce the witches. <laughs> oh, witches! Okay, and it's when they don't they just don't know where to go with any season, and all of the characters just start running in circles. Everybody's yeah. character development ends at like season four. Halts at four. It just and halts. Just like and then loops everybody just starts and... running on a treadmill and you just get characters doing the same thing over and over and they recycle the same plot threads over and over. It, it just, it sucks. It turns to shit. Yeah. Oh, okay. Go ahead. <laughs> All right. I, that, was I, I, that was me. I had to gush. I had to gush <laughs> before you shit on. Okay. Because well, you I'm know not I shit on. You it. know I genuinely know. love this show. I've gushed about it before. Yeah. I actually have a replica bottle. Oh, in case you're wondering where the word true blood comes from, true blood is in order for the vampires to integrate into society, they had to come up with something that could sustain them so they didn't have to feed on humans. Now, the, some humans are willing to to let you drink from them, right? Like yeah. there's humans and, and there's humans that have like interracial relationships with vampires and like the vampire is obviously going to feed on them. Sookie starts dating Bill and he feeds on her, right? But the vampires actually don't need to drink human blood to sustain themselves. They create a synthetic blood called true blood. That's the name of the, sh- that's, that's okay. where that title yeah. comes from. Yeah. yeah. And uh, actually I don't think the t- the book series is called, um, uh, tr- true Blood. I think it's called it's like called something else. Yeah, it's called like Dead by Daylight and Dead by Dawn or something like that. Okay. It has a very specific naming convention for the book. I read those books like 10, 12 years ago. Yeah. I read them when I, after the show turned to such shit. I was but like, you were like, I was like, yeah. where do the books go? You're like, I'm still a fan, but I, I want to like see. I want to see these yeah. characters do things that make more sense. <laughs> <laughs> and oh, and True Blood's ending is one of the you want you want to talk about bad endings. Dexter's ending sucks shit. True Blood's ending sucks even hard, like just as bad. Just terrible. It's just yeah. terrible. Where you're just like, whatever. Like just it limps past like over the f- the finish line. Yeah. And like it's just that last season was painful to watch. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. What did you think? <laughs> I have started watching True Blood uh, again. This is maybe the second or third time because I think that True Blood, the e- episode one, the first episode of this show, is one of the funniest like TV episodes ever made. I think that this, like, in terms of like comedy, you've said this to me before. This, I, like, yeah, I remember this. is fucking hilarious. So wait, did you just start watching it again? Yeah, yeah. I've watched like the first two episodes. Because this was like a year ago. You had this little talk with me yeah. where you were like, dude, is True Blood a comedy? <laughs> and I was yeah. like, it, it, and to be clear, tonally, I would say it's got a lot of comedic elements, but it's mostly a romance schmaltzy drama. Mostly. But now, yeah, <laughs> yeah. right. I but, think that this is, I don't know if it's intentional or not. That's the thing. Like, I don't know how much right. intention is placed on like comedy but intentional or or not it's fucking hilarious and i think that like even a stealth comedy or whatever the first two episodes of this show are just perfection and i've i've watched them several times now like i'm like you gotta see this and like showing this to some friends i've watched it like again with my wife and we just like are dying of laughter i i don't know like I guess you could take it seriously, but I just think there's so much like 
maybe even unintentional so you're, comedy. So your your thing is like, were they in on the joke? Yeah, I don't like. That's what I'm fascinated by. As you're and watching I don't think it, they you're were. like, I think it's unintentionally I'm like, are they, funny. Yeah, like no, are, I think they were seriously. Do they intend tried to it, yeah. deliver the lines like this? Do they intend to film it like this? Do they intend to like cut like this? Like, so yeah, we open and just like you described, you basically gave the big rundown, but. Even like we open and there's like rednecks driving down the road and they're like, hold up, honey. There's like this convenience store selling true blood. We got to try and buy some of that. I heard it makes you real horny. And like it right off the bat, it's just like we've got a whole cast of people doing bad Southern accents. I I, I can't believe that any of them are actually Southern. Maybe a few actors. Yeah, are. probably not. Yeah. But I mean, for the every, most part, every, most usually them, when people do like the Louisiana like. They're all accent, just doing some some so brand bad. of like terrible yeah. Southern American accent, right? Uh, I, including Paquin and all these people. Like, uh, I thought her yeah. accent was okay, but what do I know? <laughs> I'm Silky Stackhouse. Like, they're all know. doing. I, like, I thought yeah. hers was fine. I don't know. The, it's it's it you adds thought, an ele- it adds an know. element of cheese to everything. People that's... have accents. Like... Oh, I know, but not these people. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> See, and then, Stephen Moyer's like Bill is like Australian. Or oh, something. it's hilarious! Yeah, he's like the I'm Bill the vampire. Like it's just like what this like impossibly like handsome, just like Stoic. soap opera drama guy yes. just wanders into the bar and he's like sucker, sucker Stackhouse. Like it's like what he's doing. Like he always sounds like a bad Elvis or something. <laughs> or he's like Australian, but he's yeah. in real life. I think he's Australian. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh my god! And just like the way it's cut and shot, um, her friend Tara is like, like she's like the she's the, the she's the troubled like comes from a broken home. My mom's a drug addict. Yeah, but even my, that's sorry, my so, mom's a drunk and like a and yeah and yeah. It's she, so over the every everything feels like she's so the over chronic the top. like I'm always getting into trouble. Yeah. yeah, trouble follows me. So we have this like she's like. Um, we open on her getting fired from her job. And she's like, I don't need this fucking job anyway. Like, it's just like such a yeah, hilarious scene. Cause like there's a lady come in. She's like looking for tarp or something. She's like, well, we don't sell that. And like, it's just like, so it's, it's like, is this supposed to be comedic? Is this supposed to be funny? I can't tell. And that makes it even funnier. Right. And then, um, <clears throat> so she's friends with Sookie and she's like, needs a job. So she gets hired at the bar by the bar owner. And, uh, he's Sam like, Merlot. He's like, well, I don't have time to train you. And she's like, oh, don't worry. I've been mixing whiskeys for my mama since I was in grade one. It's like, what? <laughs> like, is this is this a joke? Or is this, am I supposed to take this seriously? Like, <laughs> And then Suki is just like, yeah, another, like, just so over the top. She's like, oh, you know, like, I've been working... At they don't bar. even have that. See, comedy is not listed on IMDb. That's so it says fascinating. Drama, fantasy, yeah. mystery. That's what I'm saying. Is like I think it's unintentionally funny. Yeah. And so we see Suki, like you described, she's working at the bar and she can hear people's thoughts. And obviously, all like the thoughts are cartoonishly vile. Right. Like, it's like I'd like to fuck her. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah no. Like that's like just like so again over the top. It's but that's so what hilarious. people would. That's what, if you could actually hear people's minds. That's yeah. what you'd be hearing yeah. and shit like that. And then obviously, yeah, she meets, but she meets Bill and she saves his life because there's these like meth head people that come in and they're like, if you capture a vampire, you can steal their blood they try and to sell drain it for money. They try to drain. Yeah, they so try to drain it, them. vampire blood is actually extremely valuable because it, yes. because it's, it, it's, it, it, it's sold as a drug called V and it gives you a euphoric state. It's basically like meth, right? Well, like, it's, it's more like a super amphetamine. And it also, it's like also Viagra. It's like, oh, really? Oh, yeah. Okay, so okay. it's like you become like insanely, you basically get what a vampire would have. You get like a, it, it gives you like a fraction of what they have all the time, which so you get like heightened senses. Um, it heals you. Yeah. You get a euphoric, if you take a lot of it, it you get you, you get a euphoric state. It makes you like sexually aroused. <laughs> yeah, it's like, <laughs> It's like yeah. uh, uh, fucking whatchamacallit. Uh, what's the drug where they party and fuck on? Fa- uh, ecstasy. Okay. It's, so like, it's like ecstasy, ecstasy rolled yeah. in like 
you know, something else, yeah. something else. Anyway, I, I have so much to talk about just on this first episode. I think this is an amazing first episode, but maybe not, so. maybe not for not, the, not the way that, yeah. I, I, I want to <laughs> say because I think most people are going to get the impression like, why does Justin like this stupid show? Let me just say, I'm not dumb. I understand oh, yeah, the yeah. show is very cheesy, schmaltzy, romancy crap. I'm saying it works for me because yeah. they go, they have hardcore. Like, oh, there's tons of sex and hardcore and like, sex yeah. and hardcore gore and violence. Yeah. It's ultra gory and vi- it's like hyper violent. And that's why it works for Justin. <laughs> but I know what it is. But I'm also the same yeah. person that likes Nightmare on Elm Street and Friday the 13th. Yeah. So yeah. if you do, you can, if I am willing to accept schmaltz and cheese done well. And this yeah. is that for me. Okay, so go let ahead. me just fire through some yeah, like, go for it. great moments and scenes. So, again, it's so fucking over the top. Like, she confronts these people that are trying to capture Bill and steal his blood. And the lady's like, you're fucking cunt. And, like, is like it's so filthy. They're swearing at each other. Yeah. It's, like, from 2008. So there's just no holds barred. No, like, they could say, this is like, this is, like, um, Deadwood era. Like, oh, yeah. Any, just, they could say anything. Some of the dialogue is heinous. And, yeah. again, it feels so, like, out of left field. Because you're like, what did they just say? Um, she rescues Bill. And then we also learn that she, she has this brother who I think is, like, Jason. J- Jason. Jason yeah, Stackhouse. and he's hilarious. He's this, like... Smoke show guy, but he has such a he's, dumb. Expression. He's also Australian, I believe. He yeah, also I think, has, yeah, yeah, he's yeah. also doing a terrible Southern accent. He is just amazing. Like he's chewing up the scenery with every scene he he's is, in. He is a doofus. Oh, he I is love the him. Yeah, prototype yeah. jock doofus. He's like the dumb, like blank jock doofus, yeah. and um, he is like just constantly fucking all over town. Yes, like yeah. every episode. He's also the, he's t- like he's also the driving. Town, yeah, he's the town whore. He literally <laughs> he's driving around to just bang everyone's wives or yes. girlfriends yeah. or whatever. Right. <laughs> it's like okay, and he. Well, which oh, do you want me to spoil why that is? No, no, no. I don't. I don't want any spoilers. Because like, really, okay. No, no, I just generally don't. They actually, like, it might... they actually explain why women find him so attractive. Okay, sure. Well, a he's like a, a really attractive guy. Yeah, but um. But, I'm sure he's supernatural or something then. Well, he, because, so one of the things with Sookie is people find her insanely attractive. Yeah, she's Anna Pack when she's hot, obviously, but um, Fae's are extremely attractive to humans. Oh, so okay. They, of course. They touch on that because Jason is part Fae. He doesn't have the mind reading or any of that shit. He doesn't ever get any of that stuff, but because he has that in him, they explain it more in the books, it okay. makes him extremely okay. desirable to women. Yeah, yeah, so that they actually do explain that a little bit because, yeah. like, yeah, he's a smoke show guy, but he's also a dumb, dumb moron. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so he gets wrapped up in a, a a plot where he's this girl that he's like seeing, she's had sex with a vampire, right? And he's like, "What was it like?" And it's like just like it's so fucking funny because he's like, "Well, like describe it to me," and he's like simultaneously disgusted by it, but also like intrigued by it, right? And then, yeah, they're just amazing lines. Like, he's having sex with her later, and he's like, you'd let a dead guy fuck you? And, like, just amazing line deliveries. Um, he becomes enamored with the whole idea of, like, the the sexual aspects of vampirism and stuff. Anyway, we, we finally return home to the, the Stackhouse family house, and it's her and her brother and her, like, over the top southern grandma, grandma, yeah, grandmother. Like, oh, Suki, blah, blah, blah. And yeah, because like, you find out that their parents died when they were young, I guess, when they were yeah, kids, yeah, yeah, their parents were killed, yeah. And it's just like uh, unintentional comedy galore because, like, she's trying to explain to her grandma that she's like met someone and she's like, oh, well. I don't really know a whole lot about this whole vampire thing. And it's almost like, again, it's an allegory for like... For black people. I've met it's, someone, but he's black. Yeah, that's what it like, is. Well, yeah, it's I don't like, know about this. That's literally yeah. what it is, yeah. Um, and then... Because Sookie starts having a relationship with with a yeah. dead man. Yes. And everyone reacts <laughs> as if it's like the racial... It's like an interracial yeah. thing, yeah. But it's so different. There's a difference between just like someone being of another like skin color or race and just being, being like a monster an occult supernatural <laughs> demon monster well, I, I think it's like, clever i think it works personally yeah. so then she's describing like, and, oh vampirism. and also to be clear there's racism in the show too oh it's yeah like yeah. in the south yeah so she's describing it and like va- they like generally vampirism to her grandma and she's like oh well like i, I don't really understand this and 
And they're like, yeah, some people even have sex with the vampires. And it's like, why are you describing this to your grandmother? Yeah. And like Jason is standing off in the corner of the room and she's like, ah, women having sex with vampires? She's like, I just, I don't know what would uh, make someone want to do that. And he's like, they do it for money. It's like, oh my God, I don't know. Like why, how much would someone pay for something like that? And he's like, a thousand dollars. <laughs> he like has, he like, knows all the so details. Like, so he knows all the details. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like that's so fucking funny. And then they kind of turn to him, and he's like, "Anyway, I should go." <laughs> it's like what? Like long pause. Yeah. Like, he's like revealed too much. He yeah. kind of like his eyes like blank out, and he's just like thinking, and he's like, "Oh shit!" Like I've <laughs> yeah, I said too much. I've revealed too much, yeah. and I'm like intrigued by this like vampire sex. Right. And then he's just like, "Oh, uh, I, I should leave." <laughs> it's like, what is this again? Not listed as a comedy. No, this show. no, no. I don't. But I get fucking it. hilarious. It has, there, no, there is some legit jokes in the show. Though. Yeah, they yeah. do have some funny things in it. The intro. I and love. Then, okay. I love the intro though with the the fake out. Yeah, with, with the yeah. guy, the guy, the behind, redneck vampire, the guy behind the counter pretends to be a vampire. Yeah, and then the actual vampire shows up. Yes, and then he, and then yeah. Uh, yeah, he threatens them, which is great. Uh, even they have the cliche like a dog shows up, and it's like Sookie's like, oh, that's just the dog that's been hanging around. I've been feeding him, and uh, he's been hanging around the bar. And then he shows up in the second episode and rescues her, like a lassie moment. So, do you remember that? So do you want me to? explain that <laughs> oh, sure but it just feels do, do, so, wait, it, do, it do, feels like no, a no. meta cliche joke right it's but like, it's oh not. that's just a dog yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. and it's like oh, I, of course that fucking dog is gonna come back no but do you want me to explain like, the dog like, sure do you want me to spoil okay this? okay the dog is sam what yeah because he's a shapeshifter he's the bar owner y- yes <laughs> Yeah, and that's why the dog's looking after Sookie because Sam likes Sookie. <laughs> Sam has a thing for Sookie. Yeah, yeah. Holy fuck! Yeah, Sam's that's a shapeshifter. Amazing. Yeah, and he's the that dog. So fucking he's hilarious. looking after Sookie because he's watching. But because we don't know that, no, right? You it just, just have this seems dog. like they just set up a dog. Like, oh, that's just a dog that like hangs around. And then like two scenes later, she's like, "The dog rescued me." It's like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> Dude, dogs do that sometimes. <laughs> dogs are good dogs. Set up and pay off. It's so so blatant. Right. It's like again, did the writers like are they just like masters of comedy? Like are these like the Harvard Simpsons writers right. of like fucking, you know what I mean? So, oh, what else? Bill rescues on, her continue. from a vampire on, attack please. and then uh, she she has to drink his blood. To um to heal herself because she's attacked. Yeah, because vampire blood heals you. Yes, it also makes you. It gives you like heightened senses. And he shit. rescues her, and then he like l- licks blood off of her forehead, and then he's like cradling her in his in his arms. She's like drenched in blood, and he's like, "Can I ask you a personal question?" <laughs> and she's like, "Bill." You just licked blood out of my forehead. I don't think it can get much more personal than that. <laughs> like, this is one of the fucking funniest shows I've ever seen in my entire <laughs> yeah, life. Well, keep watching. It's fucking amazing. Well, keep anyway, watching. I could go on, but like... Well, how I, far in? Because, okay... I maybe like watched a, three wait, episodes. There was, this was like a year ago you said this to me. You were like, is... Is True Blood secretly like a brilliant comedy? I think comedy? it's secretly a brilliant comedy. I legitimately I'm not I'm not trying to dunk on it in that like, sense. But you think the creators were self-aware enough they're like, yeah, no, we're making this secretly funny. Oh, I think so. Yeah. yeah. There's another sequence where she invites Bill over for a date to meet her grandma for the yeah. first time. Yeah, I remember. It's like and, episode two or something. And the grandma's intrigued because he's so old that he can reveal information right. about the Civil War to yes. her for her yeah. like histori- history society. Which I thought was a neat plot point. Yeah, that's a neat plot point. So they're having like their first dinner together at the family house, and uh, Jason is like, r- like he's racist or mistrusting yeah, yes. of. He's like, oh, I don't want this like dead dead person. I don't want this own. black man yeah, dating yeah. my so sister. So he's being like uh, bigoted, I guess, yes. towards yeah. Bill, and like he's like, how could you let this happen, Grandma? Like you shouldn't even let him come over here. Like the grandma's like, you gotta respect me, boy. <laughs> this is my house. <laughs> 
<laughs> and then she's like, I'm the eldest. I'm I'm the grandmother here. Like, this is my home. And then Bill like interjects. He's like, actually, Mrs. Stackhouse, I'm the oldest one here. And then they're like, ha, 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 Which is true. <laughs> and then it cuts to Jason's face. And as they're laughing, he's like, like making a fucking like he's like mocking that they're all laughing at his joke. <laughs> <laughs> so why did, why did you start watching it now oh because it's so funny no I but like no but you that was like a year ago so i'm saying what like when did you start watching this again like, like a couple a, weeks ago? a week or two ago yeah you guys yeah. started again yes because so now- we're like you know what we need a new show true blood buddy it's true all on blood. netflix yeah. i think right it's all on netflix yeah. or no sorry it's it's crave crave it's, it's on crave yeah it was so, all on netflix at once there's seven seasons of it it's high production like you said it's hbo very well made very well made <sighs> i think even it's, the cg it's mostly practical when they yeah. do like the, but like the vampire shit because like the, oh i want all ask of you, the vampire effects are really good like they they fly yeah it looks really good uh they they uh have super speed it looks great a lot of it's practical though, like bloods, blood and guts, like yeah. like an Evil Dead movie. The intro is great. Oh, yeah, I like, love that intro. I want to do bad things to you. It's got an incredibly yeah. creative, um, and artistic intro with a very like the the song perfectly sets up the tone of the show. Oh yeah, the, this like, is a sleaze, sleazy, sleaze. smutty vampire yeah. show. You know? Yeah. I w- okay. Another plot point I want to talk to you about. So. I think it's the first and second episode. Um, Jason has sex with this woman who has been seeing a vampire. Right. And they have kinky sex. Yep. And he's like choking her. Yeah. And then she gets. And then she, she fake dies. out. She fake out dies. Yeah. Like she, he thinks that he's killed he her. He thinks he killed her. Yeah. And he um, thinks he's a murderer. So he's like, oh no. And like runs away. And then the cops show up the next day, like at his work site. And they're like, why don't you come with us? Like, yeah. they reveal that she had recorded their them, sex, their and sex. it shows her her wake up and she's fine. Yeah, yeah, and it shows that she was playing like a prank on him. Yep. But, but then, then somebody in actuality did murder her later in that evening. Yep. Someone actually did murder her, so right. it's still a murder investigation. Yeah, the first season's a murder mystery. Yeah, but it's so fucking funny because like one of the detectives is um. The, oh, the, oh, the, the, the detectives like, in this are so good. He's like an old actor. He's from Blade Runner. Um, the little short guy is uh, the nerdy character from Blade Runner. That's like, oh, oh I didn't know. I it don't was know. That guy. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Um, I can't remember his name. Blade but, Runner connection. Yeah, but he's amazing. And like, <laughs> they sit and make him watch his own sex tape with this woman that he believes he's murdered. And it's so fucking awkward and weird, only to reveal that she didn't die. And he's like, you made me sit through that whole thing? You made me wait 48 hours thinking I've murdered someone? <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? It, it is hilarious. But at the same time, the second he realizes that she that he didn't kill her, he's like, whoa, I'm off the hook. Amazing. Like, And just goes right back to just like fucking, fucking around random. town. Yeah, and fucking like around the, town. Right? He's like, whoa, yeah. like, sk- like no yeah. skin off my back. But it's like. Dodge the bullet there. Dodge the bullet there. Ooh, I guess I'm in the clear. But like, no, God damn it. If you think about it. Okay. He had sex with this woman, choked her, and then he thinks that she died. So he flees the scene, doesn't mention it to anyone. And then just hopes that it will blow over. Yeah, but that he's Jason. He's irresponsible. That's so. In other words, he's a murder. Like in all, in all, like yes, he didn't technically murder her, but they just brush past the fact that he, like, yeah, that's him. Yeah, right. (laughs) He would have. He he would have gotten away with murder. He would have been like, oh shit, I accidentally killed her. I'm gonna never. I'm gonna run now from this. So he's a monster. Jason is. Yeah, he's an irresponsible. (laughs) If you actually think about someone doing that in real life, that's like that's horrific. But they're just like, whoops. Yeah, well, he's a oh, man well. child that doesn't like, own own up to his shit. Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah, what he is. Yeah. yeah. That's so weird. And so you guys like, are watching this again. Yeah, this yeah, is interesting. Yeah. I, I, I'm I don't know how. It. I can tell you right now. So critically, I say stop watching after season three. Okay. Season one and three are really good. Season two is a little rough. Oh, I also. Season two has a, in my opinion, a really lame antagonist from the second season. Okay. They introduce a new type of creature yeah. like a new supernatural thing there's and also i don't really i think it that i don't think even the actor who plays it, it's like eh, season two is whatever yeah i'm Se- excited for scars guard 
But the cool up. thing is season one or season two at least expands the world. Every season, the scope of the show gets bigger. Yeah, I'm genuinely so you get, looking you forward get to that. Introduced yeah. to more and more of the vampire community. You yeah. get more vampires. You you meet Eric Northman, who is one of the biggest like fan favorites in the show. He's Skarsgård. That's right? Alex, yeah. that's yeah. Alexander Skarsgård. Let, let me put it this perfect. way. Perfect. I is, think like. He borderline makes that show. His performance is so good. I'm so excited. Yeah, as, excited as Eric Northman, yeah. he nails the cool, the cool, tall. Like a lot of the humor I fo- I found came from him. Oh, I'm so excited. He, he gets he gets all the dry humor lines because he yeah. becomes enamored with Sookie. And that, oh, of course, that's the lo- of that's course. the uh, that's the love triangle is Bill, uh, Eric, and Sookie. Amazing. Yeah. It's good. Let me put it this way. I think that like the first two or three e- like episodes of um, True Blood are as funny, if not funnier, than like what we do in the shadows. But unintentionally. But so. unintentionally. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, it, it, I mean, if you like that, you might as well just finish the whole show because yeah, it's only yeah. going to get funnier according to your like. You I know. also love the every, every character interaction and like relationship is just a bottomless well of comedy. And I think. Um, the fact that the bar owner is like secretly in love with her is also yeah. fascinating. And then again, I did not know that he was secretly a shape shifting dog. That's fucking yeah. amazing. Season um, three. There's another funny moment that uh, my wife and I were dying at where um, she's waiting outside the bar at night to meet Bill. Yeah. Because he's like, why don't we meet after you get off your shift? And Bill comes out and he's like, oh, hey, Suki, like, do you want me to wait around too? Like, you know, it's not safe. And she, she's like frustrated with him at that moment. And she's like, go home, Bill. And he just like turns and he's like dejected and like walks three feet to like this um, trailer that's just parked like across the road. So it's so funny, like the comedic timing of it. She's like, go home, Bill. And you think he's going to like get in his car and drive away or something. But no, he like turns Takes no, wait, three no, no, steps. No, no, I think you're talking about Sam. Oh, fuck. Sorry. Yeah. Sam. Okay, Bill, yeah. I was like, Bill doesn't have a trailer. Not you're Bill. talking about Sam because yeah. Sam lives in a trailer. He right, lives in right a trailer the right next to the bar. Right next yeah, to the so, bar. So sorry. she says, go home. Go home to him is three feet yeah, away. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So she's like, go home, Sam. Like, And he's like, oh, okay. And walks two steps into a trailer. Into a trailer, right. It's like, what the fuck? And then... She proceeds to get attacked, and that's where she gets attacked, and Bill saves her. Right. But she's being violently assaulted in the parking lot. He lives two feet away in this trailer. Do you not nothing. hear? And he hears, hears nothing. nothing. You yeah. didn't see anything. As someone that lived in a trailer for a very short time, <laughs> those things are oh, perfect soundproof. soundproof. Dude, yeah. an atom bomb could go off. You wouldn't hear that shit. You, yeah. You'd sleep comfortably through the night. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's it's just uh, I love it's it. a riot. It's well, a riot. Yeah. You're gonna so have that's, to that's you're gonna have to give me a yeah. follow up on this at some point to yeah. tell me like when you guys were like okay that the joke's not funny anymore. <laughs> like <laughs> now we can't. It's not. It's now it's just annoying. Yeah. Oh, us. we didn't even talk about the the hypersexual oh, super over the top yet. Uh, is, gay yeah, uh, La- chef. Lafayette. Yeah, yeah. At yeah. The, the bar. He is. He is. He's amazing. amazing. That oh, actor. Yeah. That actor. He's dead too. What the fuck? He tragically died young. He died oh, like that's he died like five six years ago. Yeah. If there's anyone who's like perfect in the show, it's I'm him. I'm gonna bring up his name because I want to give him um I want to give him his flowers. Here. Lafayette. Uh, yeah. Lafayette is the nuts. No, the name of his character. Uh, yeah. Uh, Nelson Ellis. Oh, he's incredible. He's incredible. In the show. He's yeah. so good in this show. Yeah. I've never seen him in anything else. The cast is 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 honestly phenomenal. Everyone's good. Uh, Deborah Ann Wool. Who is um, the love interest in Daredevil? Oh, she's in the show. She's in the she show. Hasn't shown up yet. I won't spoil okay, who she don't, is. She doesn't show. She doesn't, she, yeah, she's yeah. a major character. You haven't met. Oh God, there's so many characters you haven't met yet, man. Yeah. The other. Oh, it's also there's a hilarious sequence again in the first two episodes where um, Jason he's having sex with another woman. I, I like. I think she's another waitress at the bar, and she's frustrated with him, so she ties him to her bed and then just like goes to work oh right and just leaves just leaves and yeah. he's like oh you can't do this to me yeah <laughs> it's like what? so he's he's trapped tied to this bed frame right um and then like it cuts and like wait like later in the episode they're like how's jason and, and she's like oh he's tied up right now or something <laughs> like that and it's, like, it's been like eight hours <laughs> right. like she worked a full shift <laughs> 
So the idea is that she was fine. I think he escapes. But still, she had no problem with him just being being tied up in the house. Tied to a fucking bed for eight hours of like a work shift. Like she's like, that's funny. It's like, what the fuck? God forbid he had to like take a leak or something. (laughs) Just pisses the bed. It's like torture, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. I love it. Yeah. That's true, bud. That's that's true. All right. That's the end of the episode, folks. Uh, Watch it for the reasons I like it or watch it for the reasons (laughs) he likes it. I guess yeah. we're both recommending True I think, Blood. Yeah, we're both recommending, but it. for different reasons. Yeah, but yeah. 